Hello and welcome back. I'm here with yet another update. We have more Megan news. So apparently, once again, and this is two for two in just a couple of days, we've seen her out again. And this time, Megan beamed as she arrived at Asanebo restaurant. And this time, she opted for a casual ensemble, which we will get into. So she was seen as she stepped out for dinner with friends in Los Angeles. The Duchess of Sussex arrived at Asanebo restaurant in Studio City on Thursday. She wore a casual ensemble and according to some people who were at the venue, Megan enjoyed some Japanese cuisine at the restaurant and during the outing, Megan and Terry Wood dined at a corner table in the establishment before going their separate ways. A source spoke to People Magazine, who was in the restaurant, saying that Megan was kind, in quotes, and that added that she was in a great mood and ordered sake. And once again, Megan demonstrating that she has such a broad palette when it comes to culinary choices, Italian lunch, and a Japanese dinner. And what a choice as well. Asanebo restaurant surely had its patrons before, but I think that they're gonna get a lot more with all of the spotlight that they're getting. And she was fresh-faced for this particular outing. Megan was also seen smiling, as I mentioned, walking both in and out of the restaurant. And once again, fashionable in her laid-back signature style, wearing her hair down in loose waves with a middle part while embracing that no-makeup look. She was quite, as I said, fresh-faced, very natural for this look in her makeup. The Duchess donned skinny gray wash jeans and a matching crew neck sweater and a Goya Belshaw's Biod PM tote bag and wore yet another pair of fashionable flats, this time opting for a metallic gray version with bow accents. So she looked amazing. And upon exiting the restaurant much later, she added another layer, topping off her ensemble with a black wool coat. So once again, she was seen dining at Asanebo restaurant in Studio City, Los Angeles, Thursday evening after eating lunch earlier in the day. So with more information that has come out, we have learned that she was seen at that dinner exiting with Terry Wood, Executive VP of Harpo Productions. And as I mentioned before, this just came after her sighting where she was seen exiting Cipriani restaurant with former Givenchy creative director Claire Waite Keller, where of course she was quite stunning yet again in a Max Mara Lilia cashmere coat. And underneath the pricey jacket, the Duchess of Sussex rocked wide leg Ula Johnson trousers and pointy toed flats which I absolutely loved. And of course, paired off with a Givenchy aviator sunglasses, accessory to complete her business casual look. So yes, quite a bit of speculation now. We've seen her out on these very high profile meetings. Of course, first, perhaps it is just a girl's lunch catching up with friends. But of course, there has been speculation as to perhaps if there is anything cooking no pun intended, at these lunch and dinner meetings that Megan has been spotted at. Of course, both times she did appear to have a big smile on her face leaving the restaurants. And remember a while back, there was that article that came out where the industry was projecting that there would be a push for new collaborations for the Sussexes and that massive companies had been reaching out to the couple. And right now, you never know what this could be. I, for one, I've always reiterated here on this channel that Megan should pursue more brand partnership deals, offering herself as the face of a massive brand, or because as they're still under their Netflix contract, we do know that they have some projects in the works, both scripted and unscripted, and I have gone into that, so links will be appearing here. And some industry insiders have suggested that perhaps Megan can work on producing some kind of content or programming that would center her love and passion for cooking or for fashion perhaps build a lifestyle empire where, of course, it can have that very easy outlet as well to show a passion and interest through being in front of the camera as well, where she can let viewers into that space and share with them 
Her passions, you know, and things that interest her. She has always spoken about being a massive foodie, and of course, you know, she just has this knack for fashion. So, wouldn't that be amazing? Just like hitting two birds with one stone, having a partnership deal, and then also having the cameras following her around as she's working on the intricacies of all of that, and you know, just letting them in. You know, that has to be a part of that as well when it's unscripted content. But of course, because she would be producing it, there would be a lot of oversight on the finish. Product and we've all seen Megan in this niche before. She's had some time, even going on popular cooking shows, and also we've seen her on morning shows talking about fashion, makeup. How much more cool would that be if she would actually have this avenue to let viewers into that space? And talk about that in a very personable and relatable way, staying true to who she is. That would offer endless opportunities for her to make so much money, not only for herself but in conjunction with that deal for Netflix. And we do know that there is massive interest in what Meghan and Prince Harry do. They show up somewhere, the cameras are right there. How much more when she is in control of the product? I think that would be amazing. This would raise the stakes in this industry, offering massive competition for those who have already cornered that niche of the market, being women bosses, entrepreneurs, on screen, behind the screen, and having her join forces with talented individuals who also are aligned with her passions and goals. I think that that would be dynamite. So share thoughts on this in the comment section. And if Megan were ever to enter a brand partnership or collaboration with a major company, which would you favor more for her? Which companies would you personally love to see Megan work with? I'm gonna start off by saying she has already become a de facto Aquazura brand ambassador or it girl. It's undeniable. With every one of their shoes that she wears, I'm sure they are so happy every time that they are able to get their product out there. When Megan wears any of their flats or high heels, they must just be popping champagne over at HQ every time they see an article and Megan is wearing one of their products. And once again, because of her outspoken love for food, it would be. I think meaningful for her as well to find a way to incorporate that somehow, and I would like to know from you how would that be. And as a, by the way, as we're talking about food here, let me just segue into a quick note on the restaurant that she went to. Um, this particular restaurant, Asanebo Restaurant, and they must be so happy right now that Megan chose them. So glad that they have been pinned on the map one more time by Megan going there. And while I've said before, yes, they must have had their patrons. This is a whole new spotlight for them. It's about to get a lot more busy there with all of the spotlight that they are getting. So this particular Japanese gourmet restaurant opened in September the twenty sixth, nineteen ninety one. Over the years, it has been recognized as one of the top Japanese restaurants from Zagat, LA Times, LA Weekly, and more. Asanebo also accomplished one Michelin star in 2008 and another in 2009, and it is their standard to provide the best quality meat, fish, vegetables, and other ingredients possible to their customers. From what I've seen, they have a great ambiance. The food also is quite delectable, and they bring in customers from all over the world. And they can also add to that boast Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. We all know of the Megan effect, where what she wears. Just sells out. Their websites are instantly flooded with new customers. So I would like to know this from you. How many of you have been influenced to go and eat at a certain spot because you saw it recommended, so to speak, by the Duchess of Sussex? I would love to know that in the comment section. So once again, you know what? It is fascinating to see that she is truly out there living her life. We've seen Megan at places that are so niche that it just has to be a local who knows the ins and outs of getting to and from such a place. And it's great to see that she's not a recluse in her house because she is a duchess and all of that that comes with that. She wants to live her life. She wants to go shopping for flowers. And as I've mentioned before, she does not have to call the pops on herself. Those of you who've been going in comment section saying that L.A. we all know is. A hot spot, so to speak, for celebrities and 
the paparazzi are just roaming places looking for them and they call each other you know they do have that network amongst themselves that so and so is spotted here some of them get tips from people inside the restaurants and at the spots where celebrities have been spotted and on and on so it's really not that deep it's not that deep that a place which is known for having celebrities the who's who would also have photographers up and down looking for the shot so to speak so it goes without saying that many of these celebrities do not have to call the paparazzi on themselves it's just that ecosystem of that area la beverly hills and on and on they themselves the paparazzi the journalists, photographers, they know to keep a lookout. They have that network amongst themselves. So I just thought I might add that in here. So share your thoughts on all of this. I would love to know your suggestions and what you speculate might be happening behind the scenes. Kindly comment below. As always, before we log off, allow me here to thank those of you who support this channel financially and shout out a couple of you here by name. A very special thank you to you. Lauren Hamburg, thank you for your continual support for my work here on YouTube. May God bless you. You are special and dear. Thank you. Thank you as well to Dara Edgehill, who has recently joined on as well. I truly value you and thank you for choosing to accompany me here on this channel through membership. Thank you so much for every way that you've chosen as well to engage on this channel, for sharing your comments with us and your love through your giving. May God bless you. A very special thank you now to those who gave through Super Thanks. Thank you to you, Faith Wilson. May God bless you and yours abundantly for the love that you've shown me time and time again. You are so generous. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you as well to Alma Andrews. So appreciative of you and so moved by your love. Thank you so much for your unwavering support, kindness as well through being a member here on YouTube. You are so supportive of my work here. May God bless you. I love you. A very special thank you as well to you, TCC Sun. You warm me by your generosity and I see you and appreciate you for every time that you have given towards my work here. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings upon blessings. Once again, share all your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you to all who support this channel. Know that I love you. And if you liked this one, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Let the algorithm know you loved what you watched. Also, follow on Twitter or X. I'd love to see you on there. Thank you all for watching. Keep it here for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.